now it's Thursday night. I'm working on my goals for the week. And the first one is to launch the direct mail campaign. And to do that, I need to get the addresses of all the owners, basically the owner occupants of single family properties within Champaign. I'm not going to target all the Champaign, but I'm going to target Southwest Champaign. But I can't, at least to my knowledge, I can't, uh, I can't just request those addresses. I have to get the addresses for the entire city. So throughout my research, I found out some interesting things, and I felt like, you know, there's some other investors out there that may find benefit to this information. So I'm sure you guys know of MelissaData.com. So you can go to MelissaData.com, you can request information, and you can actually create all kinds of custom queries to where you have very specific, a very specific set of data, but it's very expensive. So, I mean, for instance, so if I wanted to go to MelissaData.com and request that I wanted the addresses of single-family property owners that are over the age of 50 that do not have a mortgage and that like to play bingo, I mean, I get a list of homeowners. So, I mean, it's amazing what they have, but you pay for it. So, for my purposes, all I wanted was the single-family um, property owners within Champaign, and you're talking about uh, roughly 19,000 records. So 18,877 to be exact. If I would have went through melissadata.com, that would have cost me 13.5 cents per record, or for that amount of records, it had been $2,548.40. Yeah, yeah, right. So moving right along. Another option which was actually very feasible was to go through the Champaign County GIS Consortium. GIS meaning gra or, uh, no, Geographic Information System. That, I could get the same data. It would have cost me roughly 1.1 cent each record, which would have gave me a total of $208.77. You know, that'll work if I wanted to spend money. I usually look for ways not to. So, um, that brings me to my last option, which I was already familiar with, but I found this new tool that's very easy to use, and that's uh, screen scraping. Screen scraping is basically when you find data out there on the web, on the, on the World Wide Web, wherever, and you... you create a program that's what's called scraping. You create a program that scrapes the data, doesn't necessarily take the data, it copies the data into a database or um, if you want to call it like an Excel spreadsheet or an access database or wherever you want to put it. So that's what scraping is and I came over across this new tool called uh, Mozenda. It's mozenda.com and that'll allow you to screen scrape and it's it's extremely easy to use. Anyone can use it. You don't have to be a programmer or any type of IT geek or anything like that. I picked it up, learned how to use it after watching one tutorial video, learned how to use it uh, like in 20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to cover. All right. So here's the Mo here's the Mozenda website. As you see, there's a 14-day free trial, and uh, actually what it doesn't say here on the front page is that it's a 14-day free trial or a 1,000 data scrape, I think it's a 1,000 data page scrape free trial, whichever comes first. So that will make sense uh, later when I describe how this works a little bit. So anyway, here's the website. This is what allows you to scrape data from the web and uh, take it and use it as you wish. So I already performed the download and I already went through the tutorial and set up um, everything the way I needed to set it up. But anyway, let me backtrack a little second here. So anyway, so the data that I'm scraping is from the Champaign County Assessor's website. And the assessor's website basically allows me to view 
the homeowner data which um, includes the homeowner's name, their mailing address, their property address, what they paid for the uh, what they paid for the property, and what the tax assessment value of the property is. So all of that information is public, and I believe most comp or not companies, but most counties have that publicly available via web. So here's what I selected. I wanted the city of Champaign as the township. I had quite a few within Champaign County to choose from. And I wanted to select the owner occupants of single family properties. Um, actually, just a little tangent here. I've, I've already done a web scrape of the single family property, which is this, this title here is vague. It's basically the non-owner occupants of single family properties, which are rentals. I've done that and I didn't use Mozenda and that took literally, the learning curve was was outrageous and it took me, um, uh, I, I can't even begin to estimate the hours that took. It took over two days worth of hours. I'd say maybe 50 hours. I mean just because when I get frustrated with technology I don't give up because personally that means I sacrificed all those hours in vain so they just keep adding up anyway I digress so this is what I selected and um, I'm gonna show you how Mozinda is so easy to use and here is the kind of like a just a little synopsis of each property you have the uh, I used to know what that stood for term number so this is kind of like I think it's like the social security number or like the uh, the serial number of each property that's it's it's unique per state maybe I don't know don't get me to lying so anyway that's not relevant and the property use is the owner occupant single-family property the location which is listed here then I have the, the sale year and what they paid. So let's check out this guy. So here is Anthony W. Frazier. His mailing address is 1612 Dobbins Drive, Champaign, Illinois, 61821. Property location is the exact same as the mailing address. It shows here he paid 59000 back in September of 95. And it shows you all of the assessment records and this is what the right here is the assessment value for today it shows uh, the, the market value of the land according to the county and the value of the building and here's the sum so all that information is fine mainly what I need is well, actually that's relevant as well but the main information is the name and the mailing address and the property address so Anyway, sorry Anthony, hate to put you out there, but your information is public. So I guess that's uh, a lesson, a different lesson on, I guess, uh, not buying properties in your name, because it's all public. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for each, each 